The 16th United States Congress was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, consisting of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C. from March 4, 1819, to March 4, 1821, during the third and fourth years of James Monroe's presidency. The apportionment of seats in the House of Representatives was based on the third census of the United States in 1810. Both chambers had a Democratic-Republican majority. <laughs> Major events A. Speech for Buncombe County, North Carolina Given by North Carolina Representative Felix Walker in 1820 was credited with introducing into the language the term, Buncombe. March 6, 1819, McCulloch v. Maryland, Supreme Court ruled that the Bank of the United States is constitutional. July 3, 1820, United States House of Representatives elections, 1820 began in Louisiana. August 7, 1820, 1820 United States Census conducted, eventually determining a population of 9,638,453, of which 1,538,022 were slaves. December 3, 1820, U.S. presidential election, 1820, James Monroe was re-elected, virtually unopposed. Major legislation March 6, 1820, Missouri Compromise, Cess. 1, ch. 22, 3 Stat. 545 April 24, 1820, Land Act of 1820, Cess. 1, ch. 51, 3 Stat. 566 Proposed but not enacted Talmadge Amendment would bar slaves from the new state of Missouri. Passed the House of Representatives, but not the Senate. The Talmadge Amendment led to the passage of the Missouri Compromise. Treaties February 22, 1819, Adams Onus Treaty, Transcontinental Treaty of 1819, Spain ceded Florida to the United States. Topic: <laughs> States admitted and territories created. July 4, 1819, Arkansas Territory was created, 3 Stat 493. It was formerly part of the Missouri Territory. December 14, 1819, Alabama was admitted as the 22nd state, 3 Stat. 492. March 15, 1820, Maine was admitted as the 23rd state. It was formerly the District of Maine, part of Massachusetts, 3 Stat. 544. Party summary The count below identifies party affiliations at the beginning of the first session of this Congress. Changes resulting from subsequent replacements are shown below in the Changes in Membership section. <laughs> Senate During this Congress, two Senate seats were added for each of the new states of Alabama and Maine. House of Representatives During this Congress, one House seat was added for the new state of Alabama and one seat was reapportioned from Massachusetts to the new state of Maine. For the beginning of the next Congress, six more seats from Massachusetts would be reapportioned to Maine. Leadership Topic Senate President Daniel D. Tompkins, Doctor President Pro Tempore, James Barber, Doctor, until December 26, 1819 John Guyard, Doctor, elected January 25, 1820 
House of Representatives Speaker, Henry Clay doctor, until October 28, 1820 John Taylor, doctor, elected November 15, 1820 Members This list is arranged by chamber, then by state. Senators are listed in order of seniority, and representatives are listed by district. Skip to House of Representatives, below. Senate Senators were elected by the state legislatures every two years, with one-third beginning new six-year terms with each Congress. Preceding the names in the list below are Senate class numbers, which indicate the cycle of their election. In this Congress, Class I meant their term ended with this Congress, requiring re-election in 1820, Class II meant their term began in the last Congress, requiring re-election in 1822, and Class III meant their term began in this Congress, requiring re-election in 1824. <laughs> House of Representatives Changes in membership The count below reflects changes from the beginning of this Congress. Senate There were five resignations, two deaths, two vacancies before the Congress, and four new seats. The Democratic Republicans had a seven-seat net gain and the Federalists had a one-seat net loss. House of Representatives There were 13 resignations, five deaths, two contested elections, and two new seats. The Democratic Republicans had a one-seat net gain and the Federalists had no net change. Committees Lists of committees and their party leaders Senate Amendments to the Constitution select American Colonization Society select Audit and control the contingent expenses of the Senate Claims Commerce and Manufactures Constitution of the State of Alabama Select District of Columbia Finance Foreign Relations Indian Affairs Judiciary Land Commissioner Reports Select Military Affairs Militia Missouri's Admission to the Union Select Naval Affairs Pensions Post Office and Post Roads Public buildings select Public lands Purchase of fire engines select Reduction of congressional salaries select Roads and canals select Whole Topic House of Representatives Accounts Agriculture Apportionment of representatives select Army Appropriations Inquiry Select Bank of the United States Select Brownstown Treaty Select Claims Commerce District of Columbia Elections Expenditures in the Navy Department Expenditures in the Post Office Department Expenditures in the State Department Expenditures in the Treasury Department Expenditures in the War Department Expenditures on public buildings Manufactures Pensions and Revolutionary War Claims Post Office and Post Roads Public Expenditures Public Lands Revisal and Unfinished Business Rules Select Standards of Official Conduct Ways and Means Whole Topic. Joint Committees Enrolled bills 
Investigate safety of roofs over Senate and House wings of the Capitol. Topic: Officers. Architect of the Capitol, Charles Bullfinch, appointed January 8, 1818. Librarian of Congress, George Waterston. Topic: Senate. Chaplain, Reuben Post Presbyterian, elected December 9, 1819 William Ryland Methodist, elected November 17, 1820 Secretary, Charles Cutts Sergeant-at-Arms, Mountjoy Bailey <laughs> House of Representatives Chaplain, Burgess Allison Baptist, elected December 6, 1819 John N. Campbell, Presbyterian, elected November 18, 1820. Clerk Thomas Doherty, elected December 6, 1819. Doorkeeper of the House Thomas Claxton, elected December 6, 1819. Reading clerks data unknown, missing. Sergeant at Arms Thomas Dunn, elected December 6, 1819. Topic. See also. United States elections, 1818 elections leading to this Congress United States Senate elections, 1818 and 1819 United States House of Representatives elections, 1818 United States elections, 1820 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States presidential election, 1820 United States Senate elections, 1820 and 1821 United States House of Representatives elections, 1820